John Latham and Harold Foster, and referee Mark Lyson will be the third scoring judge. If this fight does finish in a draw, then it will be decided by count back. We will go to the 12th, the 10th rather, and final round, and whoever won that round, if indeed there was a winner, will be declared the winner. If that itself was also a draw, then we'll go to the 11th, and so on. But that is a long way in the future yet. Yeah, so, start of this opening round in the red, Sergei Michel, in the black, Liam Conroy. Very sharp, Annie Michelle. We've been our left hand out. these two, which he was in his quarter-final against Philbin as well. He puts on a, a bit of weight, a good bit of weight after the way in. in that quarter-final, that saw him make a quite a quick start, quite a heavy-handed start, but he played a little bit in the second half. <laughs> so you'd like to see Conroy, you know, obviously in the first round you want to have a look at each other, but see Conroy just, even if he's not winning the round, make Michelle work hard. If, if that's if that's a theme of his, how, how he usually fights when he's going to fade on the track, then you know, make him work hard in the early rounds, and then you can go to work more effectively later on. Decent right to the body there from Conroy. It was almost a hook off the jab, which is a combination that doesn't exist anymore. Looking to double up on the jab there, Michelle, and then attempted to put the big right hand off the back of it. Didn't quite get through with it. Straight right hand again there to the body. Nice slip there from Conroy as Michelle just popped out the jab. Busy opening round from both of these two. with the jab there and then extending it a bit further the second time around Michelle second out round two managing to find the target on the first round there where you wouldn't exactly say they were both just having a look they were doing a little bit more than that Better there from Conroy, just trying to react a little bit quicker. Yes, he needs a jab there though off Michelle. I think in the first round, I think he's just waiting a little bit too long before he threw back. Good shot right hand. It's not the first when he's landed either, is it, Michelle? Just swapping jabs there. Michelle just trying to chop down with that right hand as Conroy stooped into the jab himself. They're getting close there. Michelle maybe just trying to exert a little bit more physical strength. He's trying to time the jab with that right hand, Michelle, in this second round so far. A kind of arcing right hand. Mark Lyson just having a quick word with him about punching around the back of the head. Conrad needs to get a little bit lower. Blood there, I can't see where he's hitting. I don't know if it's another ear or maybe from the top of the head there of Conroy. I'm not sure if it's blood or if it's just. Well, it definitely is blood, just splattered down on the shoulder. There's quite a lot of reddening around the ear on that left hand side as well. 
It's that short right hand, I think it might be that punch that has caused problems for him. And he's just looking to open out a little bit here in the second round. Michel, he's warming into this one nicely, ominously slightly. Okay. Conroy. Again, as he went to jab there, he's chopping down with that right hand, Michelle. So he found the target once more. <laughs> That jab upstairs when he's holding the body, jab the body, come back upstairs there with that left hand. Corner, seconds, corner. Cormac the cuts man with a bit of work to do, and maybe that's where seconds out damage was Round caused three. with those cutting right hands. It's hard to tell, really. He threw quite a few of those in that round. It's, it's a cut behind the ear, which is highly unusual, isn't it? But every time Conroy kind of slips and throws that jab, he's always looking for that right hand around the side of the head there. Michelle Conroy just looking a little bit busier at the start of this third. It was one of those fights where we did suspect maybe that the early stages might belong to Michelle, and it would be a case of Conroy looking to try and get through that first half. Good right hand there from Michelle, which is okay as long as Conroy's you know, competitive and making Michelle work very hard. That's the important part. I wouldn't throw a right hand to the body that far out there. We've got to lean over the front foot. He's exposed to a numerous amount of counters there. Michelle just tucking up on the ropes there. Conroy looking to try and take an advantage. There wasn't much on offer. One or too many chinks in the armour. <laughs> Jab there from Conroy, lovely shot. Really good stiff jab, just as Michelle was opening out to throw his two, but you could just see that it was the bigger man, the man in the red shorts, who was just knocked back onto his heels there. Working the jam though, hasn't he, Michelle? <laughs> Michelle just a short with a jab there, but then the straight right hand got through the guard. Which a massive overhand right there, Michelle. There's a distance off with it. Ended up with his head just underneath the right arm of Conroy. I think he got a bit excited. Conroy blinked, obviously, when he gives a good right hand, but he thought he had it had him on the hook. Well, the referee just jumping in there Three, and calls the knockdown. Four, referee Mark Lyson five, taking up the count and he was put down to the seven, knee there, Conroy. Eight. So legitimate knockdown. The bell goes. And he's okay. Back to his feet, demonstrating his ability to continue and takes a seat in the corner there. So this is turning into a difficult opening to the fight for Liam Conroy rounds. He now finds himself four points down. 
And there it is. It's that right hand that he's looked for all night. It is. Well, Conroy, he just leaves, he's just over the front foot, though, isn't it? So the balance is not there. See how, how wide his legs are when he brings that front foot forward? The back leg stays where it is. So you've got to... His, his A bit of marking on the forehead there of Michelle when he's scuffing around the left-hand side, up by the hairline. But it's a very encouraging start for him, and he's built up a handy lead through these three rounds. And Conroy has got to try and get a foothold in this. And as he comes forward, Michelle just knocked back onto his heels. A little bit more of a stagger, I think, than the effect of a punch. But it's an aggressive start to the round by both of them. And the lip is cut there for Conroy, either a cut on the lip or a cut to the inside of the mouth, possibly as the heads came together. That's what the referee was talking to them about. Good, good right hand there from Michelle. Even though Michelle was the one who got pushed back, he was the one landing with the better shots, I thought. It's a nice jab there from him as also. <laughs> Looking for the uppercut there, Michelle, as well, as Conroy just stooped in a touch. But Conroy up close, looking to try and work the body. Michelle just tucking up and then explodes out of that shell, tries to throw the right hand. He's taking a few risks here, Conroy. I think he feels like he needs to make something happen. He needs to make some kind of an impression. See the jab to the body. I, I understand the, the, the reason behind it because he, he don't bring that back leg forward. Though. He, his, his stance is too wide for it. Good shot. What a right Two, hand. Absolutely three, fantastic shot four, there. Five, and Conroy six, onto seven, a knee. Eight. No. Right is on the count of eight. Mouth just hanging open there. The referee has a good look at him, Mark Lighton, and there's a lot of time remaining in this round. We're about yeah. midway through it, and down Whoa. he goes again, and the referee Two, jumps in quickly three, to four, call. Another five, knockdown, and he may as well six, wave this off. I think seven, he's looking at the corner there. Conroy's eight. not steady on his feet at all, and Mark Lighton does absolutely the right thing. Waves those arms out in front of him to signal that this fight is over. Jubilant celebrations there from Sergei Michel, and that was a job well done for him. He put some rounds in his pocket, and then when Conroy looked to be a bit more expansive, feeling like he really needed to make some kind of statement. The first one here now. Again, see, just a bit lazy with the left hand there. But that's a great shot, look at that. It really is. Again, just the left hand comes back a little bit too low there from Con Conroy. Great shot. Squares his feet up as well, doesn't he? No balance to take the shot, no real. And then already already a little bit dazed there. That's, that's lovely disguise shot, that is. That's, that, that's a worked on technique, that is. He punched over the head almost, and, and to bring your head down, and then whip up through the guard. It's a punch you don't see. Comes right behind, right, right through the left hand there, you don't see it. It's a fantastic shot. Well, that was top class work from Michelle in that round, and throughout the course of that fight, really, you would have to say, he picked his punch as well, and the, the execution of them was just absolutely perfect. This came to an end after 1 minute and 39 seconds of round number four. Referee Mark Lyson deeming Liam Conroy in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner through to the final of the golden contract, light heavyweights from Traunreich, Germany, Sergei Michel! So it will be Sergei Michel who goes through to the final to face Ricard Bolotnik.